My husband has Parkinson's disease and as it progresses he needs more and more caregiving and I think that I'm anointed to be his caregiver and everything I've done in my past life has trained me to be his caregiver and I'm surviving so I can care for him as long as I can. Well she's an amazing woman. She uh, took care of her mother, took care of our children. She's been bending over backwards to take care of me, but I've been trying to take care of her when I, when I can. I have to be strong to be able to give him his care. He deserves it. I had a doctor named Dr. William Miller here in Bellflower. I was a neurologist. And we had, had friends that had told us about the deep brain stimulation surgery. And we approached Dr. Miller about it. And he said, yes, he's heard wonderful things about it. And he knew they were doing it at Kaiser Sunset. And he would like to have Mike look into it since he was still working every day. He has a chest, a chest pack in about the size of a package of car, deck of cards implanted here. He has a cord that runs up his neck and the stimulation runs into the top of his head and they can change the frequency, they can change the intensity, and they can change the um, amount of stimulation. And all the, the combination of the three of those things being programmed to him makes a, a huge amount of difference. I built nine and a half teardrop trailers, all just a little bit different because I don't make blueprints. I just draw them on a piece of paper and start building. I know there's people will say he couldn't do that, but I did it. It was strange to be alive, but it's wonderful feeling. I know I wouldn't have that feeling if it wasn't for my wife. Kaiser is able to um, really get the message out to people that they are there with every possible resource available. And I think that Kaiser should be held up as a model for that.